Hey guys, this is Mike from White Tech, and today is my very first Fusion 360 tutorial, and we will be designing a simple phone holder. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is to create a new sketch. So you go up here, and then you click Create Sketch. You're going to want to choose the plane that you're going to draw your first sketch. So we're going to choose this one. Next, we're going to go up here and click line. The shortcut for line is L, so you can also press that. Click on the origin and place your first point and drag out a little bit and write 75. Make sure it's at zero degrees and click your left mouse button. So you're going to drag out and you're going to write 74 and you're going to press tab and you're going to write 40 degrees. Okay, press enter and you have the basic shape of the phone holder. So next we're going to use a tool called offset. It's up here above the modify tab and the shortcut is O for that. So click that and we're going to make sure chain selection is selected and you're going to click on the lines that you just created. You're going to write minus four and that will create a inner offset and then you're going to press enter. So next we will do the rounded edges and for that we will use the circle tool. So scroll in and then you're going to want to press C for circle. You can also come up here and click the circle. So next we're going to want to choose the two point circle instead of the center diameter circle. So click that and we're going to choose this first corner and the other corner. So next we're going to choose the trim tool which is up here above the modify and the shortcut for that is T. So click T and we're just going to cut the part that we don't need for the circle. So we'll do the bottom part now. You're going to click C again for circle and we're going to again choose two point circle and we're going to click the bottom origin right here and we're going to go up a little bit and then write 24 for the diameter. Make sure that it snapped on to the green line. So next you were going to create another offset. So by pressing O or going up here and we're going to choose the circle we just created. Writing negative four in the offset will create an offset that matches perfectly with this line. So press OK. And next we're going to press C again. Make sure it's that two point circle and just hover over the middle of the circle and drag to the left and make sure it snaps to the inner circle, click and then drag to the outer circle making sure it's still uh, horizontal. And then we will press T for trim or you can go up here and we'll trim the lines that we don't need. So we don't need this one, we don't need this one, we don't need this one and we don't need this one. So pressing escape will get out of the sketch palette. So next we're going to want to extrude the sketch. So you do this by pressing E for extrude and that should bring you into this view. So I want to extrude 60 millimeters. So I'm going to write 60 and then press enter. So we have the basic shape now. And one last thing we have to do is add a nice rounded edge here. And the way we do that is with the fillet tool. So we can come up here and click fillet or the shortcut is F. So now we're going to click the inner edge and we're going to write two for two millimeters. Press enter and we're going to do the same thing for the outside. So press F, we're going to click the outside edge and we're going to write six. So that should give you a nice rounded corner. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment and subscribe. I will be back with a lot more. See you guys.